Check this out. This is my DIY drag knife cutter in action. A while ago, I built this cutter using scrap parts, making it the cheapest one around. But don't be fooled by its humble build. The performance absolutely exceeds expectations. It's a perfect example of how creativity and resourcefulness can turn scrap materials into a high-performance tool. In this video, I'll show you how to create G-code for your drag knife using Fusion 360. I'll walk you through every step of the process, making it easy to translate your design into precise tool paths. Before we jump into that tutorial, I want to share an awesome website for makers and DIY enthusiasts, jlcmc.com. Let's take a quick look at that site before we dive into the G-Code tutorial. JLCMC.com provides a complete supply chain for automated components, serving both retail and wholesale customers at competitive prices. Whether you're working on CNC projects, 3D printers, or other automation setups, they've got you covered with everything from linear rails and bearings to timing belts, pulleys, aluminum extrusion frames, cooling fans, and many more. Plus, signing up is a breeze. New users even get a $19 coupon upon registration, and they offer worldwide shipping. So do check this website out. The link is in the description box. Now let's dive into the G-Code tutorial. First, open up Fusion 360 and create a new project. Start a sketch on the XY plane. This is where we'll design our letters for generating G-code, so pick the dimensions that work best for you. Once you've finished your sketch, extrude it to a height that matches the thickness of the sheet you'll be using to cut out your template. Next, head over to the manufacturing workspace and under the Setup tab, tweak the stock settings as shown on screen. Don't forget to set the reference point correctly. Now on to the cutting process. For this project, a 2D contouring operation is just right. Since there's no ready-made tool for our specific needs, we'll create a custom one by modifying a flat end mill. Begin by naming your new tool, then change the number of flutes to one and set the diameter to one millimeter exactly as demonstrated. Adjust any other settings to match your CNC machine specs. Update the feed rate to 200 millimeters per minute. And there you have it, your custom tool is set up. Next, define the contours you want to cut. Set the heights accordingly. and make sure to enable the roll around the corners option. Also, be sure to check the preserve order box. This ensures that the inner contour gets cut first. The entry point option will also help guide your blade at the start of the cut. Feel free to run a simulation to see everything in motion. When you're happy with the setup, export your G-code using the post-processor option. Choose the GRBL option from the library. You can find it easily using the search bar. Name your file, select a location, and pick the appropriate machine clearance option, just like I do. Finally, open UGS software. Go to the file menu and import your G-code file. Set the work offset as needed and you're good to go. That's it for creating your custom G-code in Fusion 360. Thanks for watching and please hit that subscribe button. I'll be back soon with another exciting video.